Late last year, an app designed for primary school students to practice basic arithmetic became an unexpected battleground in China. The app has a PvP mode where users can compete to answer questions in the shortest time. Kids had fun fighting each other until the college students joined the battle. These young adults flooded into the app to bully the first graders for fun. To justify their cause, they even gave themselves nicknames like College freshman is also first grader. Grad school first year is totally first grader. And PhD first year is definitely first grader. And it gets even worse, cause the app has a hat pad feature, allowing the winner to pat the loser to encourage them while saying try harder. <laughs> Not exactly what the kids wanted to hear after losing an unwinnable fight. Kids and parents are not happy about the situation, leading them to leave bad reviews for the app. But it's not over yet. Coders also join the fray, developing bots to finish the job in merely seconds. And since the more they win, the tougher their opponents, who are also programmers, softwares evolved over time. At first, it's scraping questions and answers from the server, and then comes a method that forces all answers to be one. Eventually, the user only needed to tap on the screen to win. They even open source these codes on GitHub so that everybody gets to bully the kids for amusement. Eventually, the program got so polished that top players got down to 0 seconds per problem solved. The situation got so bad for the kid, the developer had to pay big bucks to hire experts to improve their app. And implementing a so-called anti-addiction check for adults, where if the app suspects you are a dot, it pops a question that only the kids will know the right answer. So everything cooled down from there, everybody had a lot of fun, except the kids.